Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. My name is Travis. Today we're going to talk about the one thing that I don't like about these Nero 5 power heads. Now, if you're new to the channel, I added four of these recently, I think what, two or three weeks ago, to the 300 gallon reef to replace some busted J-Bows and dead power heads to kind of get some of my flow back. Now, before we get into the one thing that I don't like, I have to give credit where credit's due. These pumps move a ton of water, simple as that. 3,000 gallons per hour for such a small pump is pretty awesome. Now, they're relatively easy to also connect and program. You guys saw that in the video when I set these up, and you can adjust them relatively well side to side and stuff like that. You can't go straight down, but I mean, who's really trying to do that? You can just lower the pumps in the tank and get the same results. Now, that's pretty much it when it comes to the positives. They move a lot of flow, they're easy to connect, and they're relatively small pump. Now, to the negative, pretty much, well, I guess it is the only negative besides I don't like the impeller color, but that's just me being picky. I'd rather be black, but you know, that's me. The real negative is that these things kill fish. You know how, how I know? It's because I no longer have a Royal Grama in this tank. Uh, it's one of my model citizen fish, had it for a couple years, rescued it from a very bad tank, went through a long, long quarantine process. Beautiful fish, always just kind of hung out over here. Came downstairs the other day and half of her or him or whatever it was, was stuck in the back of this power head. Now you don't really think about how much suction it is until you turn one of these pumps on at 100% and you feel the amount of suction in the back. And I'll be honest with you, the holes in the back of this thing are too damn big. Um, I imagine that they're that big so they don't have as much restriction and they can really get a lot of flow through this without, you know, again, having the smaller holes restricting the flow. That's the only thing I could think of, but these holes are too big. If you have small fish, they're gonna get nixed from this pump, I guarantee it. Um, and I didn't really, again, I didn't really think about it too much when you guys brought it up in the comment section when I first got them. I got a bunch of messages on Instagram when I was making 3D printed stuff, which we'll talk about here in a second. You guys are asking, hey, can you make a guard for these, a NEM guard or a fish guard because they're wiping out my fish. And I didn't really think about it too much until it happened to me. And uh, yeah, so it happened to me and I went ahead and I made a guard, which you guys will see in just a second, but uh, it's pretty crappy. And I will say if, if Ecotech watches my videos or anybody from Ecotech, Listen to this. Get these holes the heck out of here. Make them smaller. I don't care. Use the same shape. Make them smaller. This pump moves way too much flow, and it's made for a small tank. And you know what's in a small tank? Small fish, unless you're an idiot and you got, you got giant fish in a small tank. Um, tank please, here we come. Make the holes smaller. I know you're going to reduce some of the flow. I understand you probably won't be at the 3,000, but I'm pretty sure that anybody who buys this is going to be okay with it being maybe 2,500 gallons per hour instead of 3,000 at least knowing that their fish are not gonna get sucked in the back and wiped out, you know, cause a lot of us put time into fish, you know, quarantine is not a joke, a lot of us do it. A lot of us take the time to get specific fish in our tank. And a lot of those fish are not giant tangs like this girl. I mean, we don't have to worry about her getting stuck in there, but a lot of us have smaller fish and unfortunately, you don't need a pump coming in here, wiping them out. So with that said, let's go to move on to the solution that you guys recommended and I finally went into Tinkercad and developed it. Now this is the NEM guard. I will set up the camera in a second, show you how to install it. But this is the NEM slash fish guard that goes to the back of the, uh, the Nero pump. And now this is the uh, clear version. I offer the black version as well and you can find that stuff at fishofhex.com underneath the 3D printed tab. And uh, just a heads up, and I have to warn you, they are back ordered. I mean, I had, the first day I put these out, there were 30 plus orders and it's, they take three hours each to make and most of those orders have four to six per order. So just do the math on top of everything else and I only have two 3D printers. So it takes a little while. If you want one, you just kind of got to wait in line for it to get delivered. But anyway, thing's pretty awesome. The reason why I only have one is because one, I'm trying to fill orders and uh, two, this is the tank that has the smallest fish in it. There's really small wrasses, blennies, clownfish, there's just a lot of small fish in this tank and it was perfect candidate to put the first NEM guard and, uh, or fish guard or whatever the heck you want to call it. Now understand there are, if you have a 3D printer already, there might be a version, pretty sure somebody said there's a version on Thingiverse that you might be able to download and take care of. This version is what I created here again in Tinkercad and uh, went ahead and uh, sliced it in Cura and printed it out. Did a couple test fits, a couple different designs. I will try out some different uh, designs over here, but the holes seem to be the best overall for protecting mostly NEMs. But uh, yeah, it's definitely this kicking some flow up here. I gotta clean this thing out, it's getting dirty. I can't do any water changes right now because I'm trying to get my nutrients up. So it, it, both tanks are just gonna have to be dirty for a while. You can see over here, it's just a ton of detritus and I'll have to figure that out. 
later on maybe i'll just do one of those another one of those water changes without doing water changes basically just kind of siphon everything into a filter sock and uh keep the water flow going but anyway um yeah so that's the solution that i've come up with and uh, again it's pretty popular I, I should have taken your guys advice earlier on um unfortunately i did lose a fish over it and eventually i will put one on every pump that i have here in the fish room but uh for right now this will have to do because it's got the smallest fish in the tank and i don't have enough printers to make enough of them so Let's go ahead and get the uh, phone on the tripod and I'll show you guys how to uh, install it. All right, so let me go ahead and show you guys how to install the NEM guard. We're gonna take this one off and we're gonna put the black one on that I just took off the 3D printer. And then once I'm done with the video, I'll replace it with the clear and send this out to the customer. Now, when it comes to uh, setting this up, it's pretty quick. Just gotta take off your pump, make sure the flow is off. I tried to do it before without the, uh, with the flow on. I was being lazy. And uh, it's pretty simple. There's a little notch here. Hopefully you guys can see it. There's a little notch here doo -doo -doo, where the cord will go through, and you just go ahead and slide that in there. It sits on the back. All right, goes back into the tank where you want. And then depending on how you want it to be, you can move the pump around or you can just slide this back to touch the glass, and it just sits there in place. And you can move it wherever you want. Okay, it's good to go. You can move it wherever you want. And then uh, you just turn on the flow and you're good to go. Again, you can angle it a little bit depending on what you have going on. You can angle it to the side. You just got to put the guard back towards the glass because the point is to have it close to the glass. That way I'm blocking the light. That way you don't have fish getting sucked into it. That's the whole point of it. So angle to wherever you want and then just push the guard back against the glass so it sits in place. But uh, yeah, that's about it. Now my OCD is kicking in because I want it to be at a certain angle. Well, guys, that's about it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and found it to be somewhat entertaining. Now, the whole point of this is to not only share my experience, but to also help you guys out and prepare you. If you have one of these pumps and you happen to have small fish in your tank, better do something about it soon before it becomes a problem. Now, uh, you don't have to buy from me. Uh, there's plenty of other people out there who are creating this. And again, if you have a 3D printer, you can head over to Thingiverse, and I'm pretty sure you can find one on there. Don't quote me on that. It's just hearsay. But, you know, there's a pretty good chance Thingiverse has a lot of different things you can find. Now, on top of that, or side note to the video, is to give a little bit of feedback to Ecotech slash Aqua Illumination, same company, and uh, just help them better develop their products. I know when I create things, I like feedback. Feedback allows me to make adjustments to make better products, and hopefully this will help them create a better version of this so I can keep using them in my tank. So, with that said, I'll see you guys later, hopefully tomorrow with another video, and uh, yeah, peace.